A developing story now, a man and a juvenile were arrested in Markham in a carjacking investigation. Authorities say they discovered a loaded AR-15 and a Glock. Our Alyssa Donovan is live in Posen with more on this story. Alyssa. Yeah, good afternoon, Pat and Dina. All of the items behind me were recovered when police conducted a search warrant on a home that's right on the border between Posen and Markham early this morning. They found cell phones, they found a passport, they found license plates, they found a handgun, but most notably, they found that loaded AR-15, which they located next to where a 16-year-old had been sleeping. That's the same weapon that was used in that Texas school shooting earlier this week. Now, all of this evidence connected to two people who were police arrested in a home on the 14900 block of Sacramento, which is a road that divides the towns of Poston and Markham. One of the men arrested was an adult who is out on parole. The other was a 16 year old juvenile that police say is supposed to be on electronic monitoring, but he was not wearing his ankle bracelet at the time. Both were arrested in connection with a carjacking that happened last Friday night at a shell station in Poston. Police say they were able to track down the suspects with license plate reader cameras that were installed in just the last six months. When the search warrant was conducted this morning, they expected to find some weapons, but the discovery of the loaded AR-15 near the sleeping juvenile was especially alarming. It's infuriating, especially after what just happened in Texas. This is the same type of assault rifle that caused the death of 19 children, two adults, and then a grandmother, if I'm not mistaken. And both the juvenile and the adult are in custody awaiting charges right now. Law enforcement and the mayor of Poston tell me they feel like their community is safer, at least going into the holiday weekend. Reporting in Poston, Alyssa Donovan, WGN News.